Hey guys, Tarkle Cyclone FPV, so I can get situated in my chair. And I have here today an RMA. This is a uh, HDLRC. Uh, this is the Petrol 75 1S uh, version. And the customer says that, I, I guess he got a brand new. I assume this is brand new. And he's saying that he can only get two motors to read in, in BL Heli, and that basically two motors spin up. So we're gonna check this out and see what's going on. Let me, I've tried to get the plugs here ready for this because I don't have a battery to fit this that's laying around. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna jump right into it and see, I need to verify first that, um, that we really only have two motors spinning. So I'm gonna go ahead, and he says I think it'd be all heli, he couldn't get any of them to read anyway. So let's see what we got. Okay, let me power this up. Okay, I can hear the stuff, I can hear it initialize. Let's go in, let's go to motors, and let's see what we got. Okay, actually, let me stop that because I wanna share the screen with you guys. So bear with me a second here while I do that. Uh, one second, and I'm going to be able to show you guys what I'm looking at here. I just need to get the, uh, let me do this, edit, select, copy, here. Bear with me a second. Okay, so I think we can put this here. And then let me bring it over like that. I'm putting, I'm basically re putting back the uh, dump file. Uh, I had just taken it out and then I remembered I need to start this video. So putting it back exactly so I've got it saved in case I make any changes here. So bear with me a second here and we'll be able to go through all this. Uh, let me see where we're at. Whoops. Uh, let's do it like. There we go. Yeah, it's my ugly face instead. All right, so we're gonna wait for that to get done and we'll do a save and then we'll get started. So what I did is um, prior to starting the video, I pulled the data off or I did a backup of the dump file and I do that and then I like to see where I'm at. Okay, so it saved it, so we're done. Okay, so tell you what, let's go ahead and connect. Okay, we should have everything showing up here. We do, we're good, we're good. Let's go ahead and even this out. Okay, so, We've got it on. Let's go here. This is the setup, D-Shot 300. Okay, and he's right. There's only two motors spinning. All right, so he said that he was told to go into, let's disconnect here. He was told to go to BL Heli, but he can only see two motors there. And he's right, you can only see two motors. Okay, so we've got two motors. So they believe, apparently he was talking with HGLRC and they said, look, looks like the motors, looks like the ESC is bad or the flight controller, it's an old one. looks like the flight, flight controller is bad. Okay, so here's the problem though, right? So let me turn this off now and let, let, me, let me do this and let me just grab my drink from back here. Um, so there's definitely something that I think everybody's missing here. And I only know this because I've been working on these obviously a long time. What's shocking to me is that I don't know if HGLRC just didn't tell them or if they don't know about it, but here's the issue. Somebody in my house right now, so my apologies. All right, anyways, sorry, but when you record this stuff, this is how it goes. All right, so here's something that is interesting, and I'm gonna show you guys real quickly because it really should be something that uh, is caught. So let's look at this real quick, okay? Let's look, let's connect, and let's look Okay, so we have only two motors showing up. We have only two motors spinning, right? What people fail to check, and this is what's really baffling to me, but I caught it a long time ago and I would have thought, anyways, let me just get to it. Um, so let's do a resource check here, okay? All right, look at the resource check here. Okay, motor, so, so we got 05, 04, 05, 06, 07, okay? Now, let me go and open for you uh, this document right here that I took from when I did a dump file, same thing I'm doing now, uh, when I did a dump file on this same 
quad, I mean, uh, but back in November, okay? So let's open this. Now look, look, look at these right here. You see that right there? Okay, so this is the resource. And look at this one. See this? Or 4050607, right? It's almost an identical to that one. I mean, it is identical, I guess. Let me make sure. Okay, so we skip PPM. This keeps going down here. There's more, there's more, there's more. Now, this was from the uh, 4.2.0, okay? But check this out. If I go and I tell this, uh, let me see how I want to show you guys this. So, so let's just say I take uh, this dump file from the... 4.2 okay so we're just gonna we're just gonna play around here so I'm gonna click I want to update the firmware and I want to go down to let me see if I get to 4.2 let's go to 4.2 load the firmware and we're we'll flash it right okay now I this look I'm gonna do this step by step because I want you guys to know how to test your own stuff okay so bear with me if you don't want to watch it fine turn it off but don't complain because I'm gonna teach you something uh, well, I almost said something that you didn't know, but then I start saying it sounds like I'm going to say you're going to learn something, and I cannot stand that. So let's just say that hopefully this will help you as you go down your life in FPV. Go on with your life, whatever. You get my point. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to let this, let's let it flash. And it's really weird to me because something has changed. And until I reach, until I find out exactly what it is, uh, let me explain to you why I say that. So we're going to connect. Yes, we're going to apply custom defaults. We're going to connect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Accelerometer. Okay. Great. Great. Let's go to motors. Okay. By default, it's set to one shot. Okay. Now watch this. I'm going to turn this on, and I will um, I will do this for you. One, two, there. Okay. And I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to slide this up. Okay, see how we have, still have these two motors running, right? Okay, well, this is what comes on the flight controller, right? But this is, an, this is a Zeus. Now, watch what happens. I scroll all the way down to here. See this Zeus 4 FR? Well, this is a Zeus 5 FR, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take a get. I'm going to take a stab at this, and I'm going to say that the 4 FR and the 5 FR are pretty damn close, so let's go ahead and load that firmware. Okay, we're going to flash it. We're going to continue. Now watch, pay close attention to what's about to happen. And yes, we're at eight minutes and 40 seconds and I could have ended this video in two minutes, but you won't see the steps that we go through to test. Everybody, does this simple, I'm going to plug it in, let me go to BL Heli, and the tech support guy, I mean, like, it's not an easy job, I know, but there is, there are some old school methods, right, some things, and this is why I always tell people, look, I do things on one shot, one, two, five, because I get to test the ESCs and see if they're still good, calibrate them, it's old school, and most of the new people don't want to do all that, well, you know what, this is one of those cases where old school helps, okay, so check this out, so we're going to connect now, now, let's see, we're going to go ahead, let's program the accelerometer, Let's go to our motors tab make sure we have was it one shot still on it's disabled let's add one shot like the other one did and let's click save okay now let's connect again okay we have everything here that we want including our flash right here right now let's go down to motors okay and let's go ahead and turn on our quad and let's go ahead and see what happens and all of a sudden, four motors run, okay? And all of a sudden, it's not a hardware problem anymore, right? You don't have a bad flight controller. You don't have a bad ESC. What you have is a bad resource setting. Watch this. So with the new HTLRC update, right, to the Zeus uh, 5 FR, but I use the 4 FR, watch when I type resource. Look what you have now. Do you see motor one? Okay, now let me pull up the um, HTLRC dump file right here, okay? Look at the difference. Let me scroll all the way up, sorry. 
Okay? So motor... Ah, darn it. I forgot. I can't do it like that. So let me just... Look at motor 1. 04, and here it's 10. Motor 2, 05, but here it's 6. Motor 3, 06, but here it's 7. And motor 7, motor 4 is B07, but it's 08. So this is what we had loaded, which makes no sense because it doesn't work on this board. This is what you have to have to make it run, okay? And if you try to load this setting over this once you have the firmware changed, you're screwed. What we don't know is if we load the old firmware back and copy the resource over, does it work? Well, here's what I can tell you works, okay? I can tell you that this firmware works. I can tell you that for this quad right here, right? The Zeus F4, uh, the Zeus F4 uh, FR on a Zeus F5 board works perfectly. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. In fact, when I disconnect and I go to beta, and I go to BL Heli, just watch as I read everything perfect. Okay, so check this out. So I'm going to read the setup now. Watch. Oops, hold on. Sorry. I think I need to. Yeah, I need to power it up. That's my fault. Oops, hold on. I didn't initialize this yet. Let me <laughs> let me disconnect now. Obviously, because I've done this, I need to take. Here, hold on, hold on. Ready? Here. Now let's read the setup. And all of a sudden, we have all four motors. Okay, so there's no hardware problem here at all. Here's the problem though. So now that we've got this done, what are we gonna do? Because we've got the factory defaults here. Okay, so uh, in my notepad that is. So under my notepad, I've got the factory defaults from their first pool, which is going to be petrol dump. I think it's this one right here. That was pulled, no, that's not it. Let me see where it goes, uh, here this one. Here's a dump file. And all I know so far, this one's titled good. Okay, so where's the good one? Uh, it's this one here. Let me put these side by side. Now in Microsoft Word, you could do a line by line comparison to see, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. So let me just kind of spread these out. Okay, and let's go all the way to the top and let's make sure that we have it to where it makes sense. So we're one line off, I think. Is that right? So, yeah. So I'm just gonna go up here and hit the Enter key. There, I think we're perfect. So look, beepers on a different everything. And you see how it's, once we get here, it's fine. And we can see, I think everything else might be okay. I was gonna do a line by line comparison, but I don't feel like it now. Um, we have sonar trigger one, LED strips. So one of the things, LED strip is A00, here it's A08. So I think one of the things that we can definitely agree on is that we're not going to copy anything from the resources, all right? But I do want to take the rest of this, uh, not this one, no. I want to take the, um, I want, I'm going to close this one down because I want the one that was, uh, don't say, I want the one from the, this one here. This is it, yes. So here we go again. Okay, and if you do a line by line comparison, again, a, then we start going to PPM A03. But you see how we have our PWM resources here, here, none. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna take everything else here because this is what came set on the, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna to go to our quad, connect. I don't wanna see if we get any errors when I do this. I don't think we will, I really don't, but who knows? Let me do a control V and hit enter. I don't think we're gonna get any red lines. I think it's gonna line up perfectly and change everything the way it needs to be changed, okay? The only question is, do the other resources that are in the old configuration still work? On the flip side, I could easily copy over so I, I really don't think I could change the resources because I think the boards are done differently for that purpose. So I'm not really sure that it would even be smart to try to bring resources over. I think you'd have to just set them up and I believe that this is gonna work perfect now. So the key is while this is going is number one, we don't have bad hardware. What we have is we have bad firmware that is set on this hardware. So if you keep loading the F411 board firmware 
on this board, you're going to have resources that don't line up. And when doing so, your motors only have two valid resources that are actually on this board the way they are. And so you would have to resource map them out. So I'm going to click connect here. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. So I don't know. Now it looks like we have a very, whatever has happened, it looks like I've lost pretty much whatever I needed on this. So let me unplug it, plug it back in. Let's connect again. Yeah, that sucks. I don't like any of this. CPU load's going high. I mean, it's, you know what? I, I'll be honest with you. I think it's better to just go back, take the, uh, where the hell am I? This one. Okay, edit. So, well, actually, I think if I just go in here and click connect, if I can, if it'll even let me, what the hell? So, Clearly, let me see if I can get in here. I'm just gonna to go to CLI and I'm gonna type defaults if it'll let me. Hopefully it'll take. Okay, now hopefully we can log in quickly. Close, reset, calibrate, and you see we're back to normal. I mean, everything is back to normal. So. I know that um, we are going to be on UART. Oh, I don't, actually, I don't know. I don't think there is a UART. You have to. Oh, that's not true. He's running a. Uh, so I need to see now on his. Actually, that's something they can handle. But what I care about right now is if we go to setup. Uh, if we go to setup here, right? So we want to just make sure uh, that this is right and it is. So let me just make sure that everything orientation wise is right. Okay, so up, that's right, that's right. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go to motors. Okay, it's initializing, so that's good. Go to motors. Let's just make sure our motors one is one and two is two. So one, yep. Okay, and this should be like this then. Perfect. Motors are spinning well. Everything's working perfect there. Uh, okay, I think that's right. So what are we doing? Did I miss it? it is not very supportive. You can modify the VTX. So, man, look here. Look, let me just help you. Just give me anything here. Where I'm pretty sure. Uh, load from file. What did I do here? Why is that? Open, but not yet stored in the flag drawer. You must verify and modify values to be sure. Verify. There's nothing to see now. Okay, so let me just disconnect. I'm just gonna pick. Click save. Connect. There we go. So let's do a uh, load from file this time. Let's power this up and let's do this one. And then we'll click save. Okay, and what I wanna do is make sure it doesn't shut down our stuff. So we're gonna go to, uh, let's see, F5. Power 25 and click save. All right, now we're going to turn it off. Unplug the USB. Plug the USB back in. Power back up. OK, 
Okay, let's go to ports. Just wondering if it was on a, what I cannot tell you if it was on a smart port, but we're gonna find out. No, oh, no, it's working right here. Perfect. Okay, well that was interesting. We lost video because the VTX kicked in. So, so we've got it all set up now, and that's pretty much where we're gonna leave this. The rest of the settings we'll ask HDRC to download to us, but that's good to go. So, sorry, that was, I know it was a long video, but I really wanted to go over to detail you know, like the, the, the steps you can take to troubleshoot, right? And, and it's very simple, but you gotta just, you know, you gotta look past the hardware and you gotta think, well, wait a minute. I mean, you know, uh, the board is printed, on the board it says Zeus uh, uh, F5 AIO, I believe is what it says, uh, no, F5 FR, okay? So that's why I went and looked for the Zeus F4 FR. They didn't have an F5, but they do have an F4, and that F4 has the same resource settings as the F5, so all of a sudden the motors are working, okay? So I'll write this to HDRC and let them know what we found out well, send them the video as well. Hope that helps for you guys. As always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate all your assistance with that. Um, we've got a lot of work to do, got a lot of armies coming up, but hey, not so far we're knocking them out today. We'll talk to you guys soon. God bless, be safe, guys. Enjoy the weekend. Bye.